Hey everybody, it's Suzanne and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to share with you some tips on taking care of your silicone baby. And um, little Miss um, Abby over there, she is going to get a bath today. Now she hasn't had a bath in a while and I'll tell you I'll explain that, but um, she's going to get a bath today. If you remember this outfit, it was one that I tried on Little Miss Emma over there, and it really just didn't fit her. But for Abby, it fits her beautifully. She just looks so cute in this outfit. And she says, look at me, look at me, I'm so pretty, which she is. But um, I chose her be because she's, um, her silicone is actually the most durable here in the nursery. She's made, um, well, I don't really know. That's always a mystery, kind of, sort of. But um, so the best way to kind of get that uh, straightened out in my head uh, if you have a head like my head, um, you go on uh, eBay or Etsy or anywhere. Go anywhere like, for instance, eBay or Etsy. And just browse the silicone babies. And um, you'll, come, you'll see all sorts of drink and wet or not, not drink and wet. <laughs> so, um, when I first got her, I didn't know that because um, she was just in a storage unit. Uh, the lady had passed away and uh, everything went in the storage unit. And um, so, uh, then the family um, sold stuff as um, time went on. They, you know, cleaned out the unit. So, um... So she was in a box, and um, there was no slip or anything with her. So, you know, didn't really say, like, where she was purchased or whatever. So when I got her, I just accepted her without question. So um, I was asking you all, um, you know, and, and I had some great input from all my subscribers that uh, helped me to figure out about her and some said she was Ivita and some said she was Ken Kensley sculpt. Some one girl said I think one or two girls said babies by Lori or something like that. Well then um well I just kept her and stuff at how how all that happened and ended up um giving the lady that had her, which she really didn't own her, it was the other lady that passed away that owned her. But anyway, so, and basically just kind of adopted her in that way. Okay, so now, and that was um, uh, my first silicone. So I really didn't know a lot about silicones. That was way last year, if you remember. But anyway, so learning more about silicones. Now if you go on, like I said, eBay, Etsy, or any site like that's got silicone babies that are selling and auction and stuff. Um, you see all the different kinds of silicones. There, some are from Russia, some are from here, some are there, everywhere. And then there's the Iveta ones. And I'll do a separate video on that, my thought on that, because I don't like the bullying that goes on with that. Just because if you can only afford that, then you should be able to get that. And you should not be, uh, you know, discriminated that, you know, for getting that. Because that's what your wallet says you can get at that particular time in your life. And if you ever get the chance to go uh, higher on a doll, I'm sure you will. And that's what I did. And that's why I'm kind of sticking up for myself, too, because you got to start somewhere. And I really didn't know a lot about silicones. Well, I, lo I know a whole lot more now, but it's almost a year later. So, um, all right. So now I have 
One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four silicones. Okay. So see how things change. And, you know, for the snobby ones out there, the first silicone that you get might be on 1,000 or lower or 500 or lower or something like that, whatever. Like, who cares? Who cares? Your next silicone might be 2,000. And maybe the next one will be 3,000. And sooner or later, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like... A disease kind of like you just got to go you know and get the better one and a better one better one but you don't discriminate against the one that can't afford the better 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 one you know what I mean so you know this thing going on out there whether you're not allowed in our group because we have uh, all silicones here and yours is Iveta yeah, well, it's silicone. Do you, should you be discriminating against me if somebody else stole the mold? No. No, because everybody that drives a Toyota car should take it back to the dealer because it's made in China. Probably, and so is half the stuff in your house. So, I mean, this thing about having a, uh, the elites having, you know, you can't come into a group and show off in an Ivita doll, which is what I was told, quote, unquote, show off. Well, you know, I don't belong to any of those groups, and I don't show off, and I don't want to. So... That's a different kind of a video. Today we're going to give a bath, and I have all everything all set up here, and I chose her, and I'll tell you why later, because I have the other silicones, but I chose her. So, in the bath here, some people use the sink, and uh, that's fine. I did too. And then there's this bath thing. So... Can it, the baby lays in here and the water is in there. And the uh, water is nice and warm, but this I had from my soaping. It's really neat, but I just show it to you. This I had in my for my soaping and the water is 95 degrees. So but I used to use this for melting oils and stuff like that. And so the water in there is 95. And that's good not going to burn the baby and it's not too cold for the baby so you put the baby in there and then then you be ever so modest and you cover up the baby so nobody gets noivus noivus there okay so um all right skin care i'm a fanatic on skin care because I love making skin products. Well, I used to. I don't make as many anymore as I did, but, um, so, and everybody else in the background is watching. Are you all cheering? <laughs> so, little Miss Abby. Okay, so, um, the baby wash, a mild, a very mild, um, this one is lightly scented, but, um, so this one is Baby Wash by Sesame Street, and it's a, oh, there it is. I knew it was mild somewhere. Mild formula designed for use on entire, on the entire, whole entire baby. So, let's see, water, well, sodium lauryl sulfate, I don't particularly care for that. You can Google sodium lauryl sulfate. That's not exactly, I'd stay away from that, but it's in anything that bubbles in your house. If Dawn, anything that creates a bubble, that's the sodium lauryl sulfate. I don't like it when it said sodium chloride, but that's salt. Uh, that's like a salt water or um, citric acid too. Uh, citric acid, they put in a lot of foods. It's like a preservative, but um, and that's probably what it is here. There's probably a small amount, but just this. That's all. And uh, there are some other ones out there. There's a lavender um, one that I used, and it's lavender. And I even like it for myself. So I stay basic, basic, you know, like in the bath. So do the same for the baby. So you wash the baby, and I need something to cover. Okay. 
so we don't want to get in trouble here. So you just, you know, wash the baby, put some of this on there, and wash the baby. And it's basically, baby's not really dirty or anything, or maybe your baby is, but um, it's just to get the dust off and stuff. And, um, you know, so, okay, so why did I use this baby? Because my other babies, my higher end silicones have never had a bath. And um, I'm kind of leery on like playing with them and monkeying with them. They are very, 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 they're not like fragile, but they're very, the silicone is, I don't want to rip it. Plain and simple. I don't want to rip it. I don't want to do anything that's going to cause any kind of harm or anything. So, basically, for the baby, you're just getting the dust off the baby. Like, every three months or every six months or something like that. I mean, not even like that often. And the other silicones have never had a bath. Ever. <laughs> and she's the only one. And you might... Whoops. I'll have to just cover that up in the editing. She's the one that is the most durable. Her silicone, and she's, if she is an Iveta, I would just say that she is. I don't know, because she also looks like the Kensleys, too. So that's why I don't know. And then I get in trouble if I say it is, because then I'll get a message and it'll say this is not my baby please don't advertise that it's my baby yes 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 okay so that was last week right so um all right so once you have her um bathed let me get this back over you know just like a, a regular baby they're cold now because you take them out of the water and you want to dry them off. And very gently. Now, I was talking to someone um, and we were talking silicones. And um, I'll get into it too and I'll, I'll show you. But um, like the mouth, like as in, in feeding and, and prying the mouth and stuff, they tear the other babies tear very easily very very easily and so that's why i picked hers because she's a very very durable um silicone she's very good to role play and work with and um she's she's just a really good baby to have and not as a toy though not not ever as a toy but for the, like, you know, we just gave her a bath and she can tolerate that and um, nothing's going to happen to her. And the other ones, I'm just, you know, scared to death to, um, to get the other ones and give them a, a bath or anything that if they tear or anything like that, I, I, I just, I could, my heart would just, I cannot. So, anyway, so, um, here's some things that I have for notes that I've gotten from people that make silicone babies. Um, they are not toys and definitely not suitable for children. They are fragile. Silicone is very, very, very fragile. It's the best way I can tell it to you. Two words, very fragile. So, they have to be handled delicately. And they are a joy to have. I love silicones. I, I'm going to be getting silicones right on out. But if they're too uh, soft or, you know, soft and mushy and all that, if they're too much, then I'm not going to, like, give them a bath that often. Maybe once a year or something. I don't know. Anyway, they are um, very unique for us collectors to have them. And, but, you know, we have to learn to handle them with care. And that includes feeding, too, which I'm going to get into that, too. But 
um, is this is not like a vinyl doll. The silicone that I just told you about, um, you don't put any products on them. All, all those products that you've heard about, you know, in the bath has uh, added aloe or added lanolin or added this or that or vitamin E oil or something like that. Anything like added, you don't want it. You just want the, just this one. You just want something like that. Gentle and, you know, pure and not got a lot of chemical in it. And that's the best way to take care of your silicone baby. Gently wash your little baby and, um, and don't buy like uh, those ones that we buy for ourselves. The deodorant. Babies don't perspire and they don't have body odor. So they don't need anything under their arms to for the body odor. So don't buy anything that's kind of geared towards taking care of a body odor like a deodorant shower gel not you don't need that you just need plain old plain old very basic simple uh, wash and the soap um, the gentlest one I guess is ivory so but they have the um, uh, the shower uh, shower soap for so that you can buy so but if you could stick with the baby stuff, that'd be good. So, um, and then um, I just wanted to tell you, uh, so the difference in silicone. The, the other silicone babies are mixed like an Ecoflex 1020 or Ecoflex 1520 or Ecoflex 3010 or I don't know, whatever they mix it with, Ecoflex. That stuff, I mean, it's great for a real lifelike baby, squishy feel, and they're adorable, and they look real, the babies look real, but you got to be very, very, very careful. Be very gentle with those babies. So, but all babies are made different, too, so you just got to know the baby, but, um... Keep them away from your pets, too, because they're like rubbery to a pet. They think they can chew on them like they are a toy to chew on, and um, they'll just destroy it. Um, so, on the mouth. Now, on the mouth, you they're the Vaseline and stuff that's out there, it's got petroleum in it. I would use KY jelly because it's water-soluble. And you can wipe it with water, and it won't make, um, not like Vaseline, but uh, KY jelly or something like a lubricant like that around the mouth, it will put it on a napkin, and then put, and then take your toothpick and just um, uh, put a little, or a, a popsicle stick, that'll work too, and then just put a little bit on the tear, and be sure to not let any ooze out or excess ooze out or you're going to have a big glob there. So just a itty bitty bit, it will stick. So, um, but if you put a like KY jelly, that's a water soluble um, lubricant. So um, that's what I use. So, but you can use, now they say Vaseline, but I'm not a fond, I don't, you know, I'm not a big fan of Vaseline, a.k.a. petroleum, a.k.a. lanolin. So I'm not fond of any of those, not for human skin. And I certainly, if I'm not going to put it on my skin, I'm not putting it on a baby skin. So, uh, or doll either. So, um, but any lubricant like KY is good. And um, you can put that on um, and with a little bit on your tip of your finger and then hopefully you won't get no tears. But if you do, they're fixable. So don't freak out, they're fixable. So um, um, you can't be rough at all. It's got, you gotta be gentle. And she's the one that can take it because her being a different kind of silicone, hers isn't at all like the others. She's more durable. She can take it. And so that's why I showed you how I give, you know, a baby a bath. Now the other ones will need to be rinsed down and have like a bath, but 
I'm I'm gonna wait maybe once every six months I think something like that and that's only just for me to keep track of so I'll do it July January you know I'll, I'll just I have a month and I, I just will break it up like that the beginning of the year January to July and then January to July you know so I just always know but um with her it's you can give her a bath she's really re very very good so um and um the so we're gonna powder her next because um she'll need I have matting powder here and you can get that online also and if you don't have that oh I will suggest cornstarch so um get that and let's see I want to make sure this isn't blurry at all and um so I have a talking here and um so I'll make sure that she's all dry let me just make absolutely sure that she has dried but that's basically um, how you do it now on the other silicone babies that are more softer and squishy and I mean they just feel like real babies and all that stuff I'll just do that how's that <laughs> then we would not indulge on your private parts here um, so, um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, the other silicones, they are, I mean, very, very rubbery, very, very squishy. And, um, they might not be able to take all this very often. So that's the reason why I thought, well, you know, I just got them a couple of months and six weeks now I've had them. They're certainly not dirty. I'm not going to push it. But um, so they'll get like six months. When, when I've had them for six months um, and I got them close the same month, I got them. So I uh, got them close to each other. So I'll give them both a bath. So... Um, but now Abby, if you remember, now she goes, go back to the other video about the bad, why I'm not going to be selling stuff on eBay. Not because of Abby or any of her, you know, things that you might not like about her. I'm just not going to sell stuff on eBay because if you run into a, um, a situation, then you're not going to be able to handle it, you know, like... Actually, um, you know, she got her full refund and she sent me back the doll and I'm glad of that and everything. I love this doll. But, you know, she wasn't able to love it. Well, okay, fine. Then I will. And that's why. But, gee, the thing to, if the thing just to give the money back, I tried so many times. I went in there and clicked refund, refund now, refund Every single time I went in there and it just said it couldn't do it now and try later and uh, that should not be. So um, I should have been able to take care of it. Let's see, Friday she said she's going to send it and her husband or whatever sent it. Saturday. Um, oh yeah, first she was going to send it Saturday. Then she, okay, so she sent it Friday. So I got it Monday. Well, Monday, when I got this doll back on Monday and checked her over and everything, I should have been able to go right in there right away and cancel that whole thing and let, and refund back and give money back. And I mean, you had to jump through hoops. The reason why I won't go to eBay again to sell is because there's no phone number there for a seller. If you run into a problem, there's no phone number there to call anybody, talk to a representative. 
none of that so all has to be done by messaging so who knew right i never had to do a refund ever in my life and i've been on ebay since 2004 they reminded me and i said yes and they said you were a good customer and i said yes i've never had a problem i don't think i've ever even returned things to anybody that i've bought some of the purchases that i bought might not have been the best but i didn't you know fuss over it or anything and um, so I didn't really know how to do the refund thing, why it was so hard to do it. It should have been much more easier to do it. If you have the item back and you're ready to do the refund, you should just be able to go in there and just do it. But, um, so she couldn't, um, love this doll, so that was fine. But I know I actually think there's more to it than that. And I'm not going to go into it because I don't know 100%. And so, because I don't know 100%, I'm not going to say, so. But, it's more, there's more to it, I think. So, um, anyway. But, um, for a baby like her, she is, what I had uh, selling her for, she is well worth it. Because, if the other babies are um, 2,000 or 3,000, something like that and you can't really treat them I mean you've got to be so careful with them so many people have had problems and then my one friend she ran into a problem and she couldn't even get help with that problem and that's really sad because that's like three thousand dollars and you can't get um, someone to help you to fix it Oh, that's, you know, sad. And I do feel bad for her and stuff. We all love our babies. You know, we, if there is a problem, you want to fix them and stuff. And anyway, so with her and being, she's a harder silicone. She's very hard, hard, hard silicone. Um, now, if you threw her around, she probably would rip here. She probably would. That you have to be gentle with her too. But on the other ones, if you're um, too rough, you're going to get like what I had that problem. I didn't even know it. And I always had my hand back there to support the neck. My camera shut off. <laughs> I don't know where. So this is a great baby. This is the one you can mess around with, give a bath to, change every week, do whatever you want. And as long as you handle her pretty, you know, nice, soft, you know, gentle. And um, the other ones, just once in a while. Just get them out and, you know, rock them and feed them and change their diaper. And uh, But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I like her. I like her a lot. And I can do this video. And um, so... I wanted to show you this. I got this. It was in uh, some clothes. Um, Alright, let me... This is just so darn cute that I had to show you. Let me just put that over there. And then... So yeah, these little... Uh, whatever you want to give them a name of. They're great. Because, because I can show you, I can do this video and I can show you where, um, it's a little swaddle blanket. Isn't that just the cutest thing? She could be a little papoose. <laughs> so, well, she's got room down there. I could have put you down there more. But, um. So, um, look at that. Is that like so cute or what? So that goes to that, or no, that goes to, this goes to this, and this goes to this. <laughs> I think that is just the most adorable little thing. So, um, yeah. So that's bath time with Abby. <laughs> so, uh, Basically, it's just stick to the basics and be gentle. And 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. May all your dreams and wishes come true. And don't forget to give me thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.